Right, Mr. G from Spartan here, guys. Um, we've had an epic day today. We've uh, done a walked up grouse shoot, um, introduced a few new young ones to it as well. Uh, basically, for anybody out there that doesn't know what a walked up grouse shoot is, it means a huge amount of efforts put in by the shooters. They're not standing there, they're not having the birds pushed over them. So you're walking the moor and hopefully you push a few birds up and hopefully at the end of the day, you end up with some dinner. Um, and in our case, we're all pretty awful shots, so we don't end up with much dinner, but we love trying and we love doing it. Um, and it's a really special thing to do, actually. Um, and what I'm gonna do tonight is, this is the Spartan menu, guys. This is, this, is, this is not just about bipods and tripods and what Spartan does. This is about the ethos of what we are as people behind Spartan. And we're all avid hunters. We're avid outdoor people. You know, it doesn't matter what we do. We just like being outdoors and enjoying those fruits and flavors that nature provides. And the fruits and flavors tonight um, are the old grouse, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tartar them. If these midges don't kill us first. But um, basically, I'm gonna take these um, old birds, which can be a bit gamey, and I'm just gonna scrape the meat off mix it with some raw egg and some raw onion, make some little fry bread, put it on there and hey presto, and it is delicious. I encourage you to do, with, to do this with any, any game that you can do it with. Clearly don't go and do it with wild boar um, or any predators because it carries trick, they can carry trichinosis. But things like these, things like venison, caribou, bring it on. It's fantastic. So more to follow. Just gonna, just gonna prepare these birds in a minute. We'll, sh we'll talk you through it and show it if I don't get eaten by the midges and um, you will see us eating it. I, sorry, I'm a hard Spartan. Um, I can cope with most torches, but I can't cope with Scottish midges beating the eye. Ah! If you haven't experienced midges, come and try them. They're a flavor that I really don't enjoy. We've retired into the kitchen area because the midges were just too evil out there for me to bear and I've still got a few on me. Um, and I'm breasting these birds. Um, as you can see here, I'm gonna get one of my buddies to wash those down in a minute. Then we're gonna tar, -tar that up and uh, mix them with the egg and the onion and stick them on the fried bread. Right, but it's really interesting to see what these guys eat because if you look in the crop, look at that, beautiful, just, full of heather. So that's what they like, the young little heather spouts, shoots, sorry, and the flowers. And the crop's absolutely full of them. And that's what gives grouse the distinctive flavor. Um, if you haven't tried them, they really do have that sort of heathery sort of essence to them. But what I do is I just take the breasts don't get too pretty about it and just scrape the meat off, leaving the sinew behind. You notice this grouse, it's really dark meat. Um, just look at all that build up of meat like that. And you just end up with the sinew left. Um, and you wait. We mix this with some egg and some onion, a bit of salt, a bit of pepper on a bit of fry bread. Oh, just delightful. John's teaching me how to cut onions here. I'm learning something new at 57. It's always good to learn right. new things. So, Isn't it, Davey? Yeah. So for tatar, you want finely chopped onions? Yeah, we do, okay. very fine. So you do your conventional, so the roots there. Your hand's in the way of the camera. He hasn't done this before, has he? Your conventional <laughs> slicing down that way. Yeah. This is, my darling wife taught me this. And then for fine, so you could chop it like that now and you get quite a coarse chop. Yeah. But if you run your knife Ooh. down that way a bit, a couple of times, that's all you need yeah. first. And you see the way it's all spidering yeah. out? And now when you chop, Oof. you get an instant really fine onion. This man's, he is the onion master. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, I'll leave it to it. Good man. Well, that's enough on the onions then, isn't it? 
Right, so got three onions in there, load of grouse, as many eggs as you want. I tend to lose the whites of the eggs and just keep the yolks. And um, we're going to hash that all together. Put it on some fried bread. Uh, JT's got some lovely duck fat here, so we're going to fry our bread in a bit of duck fat. Pretty tasty. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Mm. Hang on. I'm having a moment. Mm. Mm. Oh, that is good, isn't it? Really, really good. JT. Oh, yes, please. It's just as good as last year. And the year before. And Posey. Year before. And it's improved upon the very first time. Mm. The very first time was a bit rougher. That was on a pickup truck. Oh, yeah, very basic. Okay. <laughs> we were, we were... No scraping, it was mm. all chopping. No salt, no pepper. It was all scabby, but... Don't be scared. nice, but this is, this is a refined dish. Is it like the salmon eggs, Davey? <laughs> That's brilliant, really brilliant. So, no waste. No. So all that sinew that was left over when um, Rob was scraping off the, of the meat for the tartare, the egg whites, a little bit of a fry up. Don't want the dog to have a taste for uh, raw game meat because that could lead to other problems I don't want. Right, Blotto has also contributed to all the work on the hill today and he gets a treat and a feed from it. Meaty is nasty. Um, but mm. Mm. that is delicious. You're gonna try and tartar one? Mm. No, no. It's so damn fresh. That was running around today. Running around the on the moor. We were running around after them, caught a few, no, and now the they're feeding us. How good is that? <laughs> is that We've avoided that the supermarkets. No, 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 We've hunted our own meat, and we're enjoying it. And it's, we are humans at the end of the day. You know, to go out and have a great day like that, big adventure, a lot of walking, a lot of exercise, find your own food, eat it with some chums, what can be better? What is wrong with that? <laughs>